So, pivot tables. In the last video I showed you that formulas are really meant for calculation and not for detailed analysis of your data. So we can use a pivot table for that and pivoting means turning around. Actually I, I'm not entirely sure why a pivot table is called that. I like to think of it more as flatten tables because what a pivot table does is it takes a whole bunch of data and it flattens it given a certain dimension. And this might sound very cryptic to you, so let's just go to our own data and make a pivot table. So we don't need that nasty calculation anymore, we're just going to select our entire register log and then we're going to insert a pivot table. So I've made a worksheet for you, you can select the data that you want and then you can say where you want to have it. New worksheet is fine, but I already made a pivot table worksheet. And what's important is that you add this data to the data model. I will talk about that later, but for now you just remember that this is always what you want. So Excel is now calculating and it has created a pivot table for us. So maybe you think, now what? Okay, we have a pivot table, but I don't, I don't know what to do with it. There's no, I don't see my data. What, what do I do? I'm a bit confused. So what you can see here is all the fields from our register log are available to us in the pivot table. If we go back to the register log, you see that all those column headers, Excel has detected, has looked at the data and saw that these are the column headers and placed them in the pivot table for you. So you can pick one and drag it down to the rows fields and now it's going to calculate something. So you see all the beers that are in our register log are now in our pivot table. And this is in the sense that I mean a flattening table, because what happened is we had that entire register log, all these beers, and what the pivot table has done is it has flattened in into only the beer names that are there. So it here, for example, the Schlafly Oktoberfest occurs twice, but in a flattened pivot table it only occurs once. Only the unique values remain, as you can see here. But we're not really analyzing yet, now we, we just have the list of beers, of course we want to do something with it. So what we can do is take that quantity and drag it to the value field. And what happens now, it is summing the quantity per beer. So while flattening the data, all the quantities that it encounters are summed. And if we sort it, we get the exact same result as we had when we were using the sum if function, we get 170 items sold for the Schlafly Oktoberfest beer. So now again, imagine that our boss comes in and says, what beer sells best after 11 p.m.? This is super easy, because we can take the time field now and use it to filter our data. So we take time, we drag it down to the filter, and now we have the list of all times in a drop-down function. So we just say we want to select a bunch of them, we scroll down and we tick everything that's after 11 p.m. You could also use a formula for that, but just clicking is also super easy. And then we say, see that the best sold beer after 11 p.m. is the Slavly Oktoberfest. We knew that from the sum ifs function, but now we've done it without any formulas. So compare what I did in this video to what I did in a previous video, I didn't use any formulas. It was only Im importing my data into the pivot table, selecting the right fields, applying the right filter, and the analysis is there. And it's super easy for me now if I want to know what's the best sold beer before 7 p.m., just changing the filter a little bit, no formulas needed, no change to any formulas needed, and I have my analysis. So a pivot table really allows us to play with our data in an easy fashion. 